G'day Roger, it's just Kyle here from Adelaide Vehicle Centre. We're just sitting in that 2010 VE SV6 we spoke about on the phone. We're just going to go through the condition of it and the features it's got so we know exactly what we're looking at. We'll start off down here nice and simple in the centre console. So you've got your 12 volt power outlet, uh, no cigarette lighter as we spoke about on the phone, it's just the power outlet itself. We've got a USB and auxiliary input in here as well which is great for playing your own music or charging your phone up um, at the same time. You've got your two cup holders in front of this and all your power window switches are nice and central which is great, makes them nice and easy to use. You've got your power, wind, uh, power mirror switch in the middle here as well, so easy as, flick it to passenger side and adjust it. I'm sure you're aware of how that works. And all your door locks as well are in the middle. So that's pretty handy. We've got the six speed transmission, real easy to use. Traction control button in the middle. Probably shouldn't tell your son about this one. Um, move forward, we'll go at your dual zone climate control uh, as well. So what that means is you can actually set a different temperature on each side. This is a series two feature. Um, they didn't do it in series one, but it's easy as this. So up here, you can actually see um, the temperature on each side. Hit zone. Um, sorry. So we've got it separate here and separate on this side. So it's real easy to use and then you hit zone again and they're, they're in sync. Um, temperature external, so outside temperature pops up in the same spot on the screen. All your fan speeds adjusted in the middle with a button. Everything that you do is um, comes up on the display itself, which is quite easy to see. Of course, there's an on and off button for it as well. Now moving up here, you've got your, the left knob uh, is tuning, so that adjusts your stations. On the right hand side, you've got your volume control and power button, and then you're skipping your tracks and your folders in the middle here as well. Got hazard light switch bang in the middle, as you find with almost every car. On the left, you've got your different inputs. So we've got AM and FM radio. As mentioned, it is touchscreen. Media, so you've got uh, CD input still in the middle. USB, which we spoke about before, iPod connectivity, if you do plug an iPod into the USB port. You've got Bluetooth in this car as well, which is great. You can play music um, off your phone wirelessly or take phone calls, which is great. Only legal way to make them these days. Keeps you out of trouble, um, especially as a P plater. You don't want any excuse to be getting in trouble. So continuing on, auxiliary input here. You've got your answer and hang up buttons. You've got your mute button here. Uh, config, so all your settings. It's got the map buttons. Um, as we spoke about on the phone, doesn't actually have map. It just comes up saying it's not available, um, as you were aware with the ones you've seen already. On the steering wheel, audio and trip button. So audio flicks through the different inputs that you've got. Trip flicks through the screen in the middle here. So you get your average fuel economy range. So distance to empty, speed. I think most people just leave it on the speedo. Real easy to use volume and track buttons on the steering wheel as well. Just flick it up down answer and hang ups on here as well um, so pretty handy and your standard Commodore cruise control it's actually really intuitive I, it's probably my personal favorite cruise control just simple as on and off on the side and then flick it up and down to set it um, and the SV6 is also fitted with auto headlights which is to the right here um, <clears throat> sure you're aware but super safe cars as well so you've got a five-star safety rating being an Australian made car a uh, really important thing to Australian manufacturers so you've got airbags in the steering wheel you've got them in front of the passenger in the pillar here as well so the a pillar and you've got them in the c pillars in the back for your passengers and you've also got them in the seats as well as the side intrusion bar on the side of the car so extremely safe car to be putting your um putting your kids into or a first car to be learning to drive in as well up here you've got the ever important sunnies holder um, and your sun visors as well so what I'm going to do is we'll jump out the car, I'll show you under the bonnet, um, I'll get Luke to give you an idea what the condition of the seats are. Like I said, the bottom of this driver's seat has actually got a little bit of just general wear and tear on it, so we'll get him to focus on that as well. Um, and yeah, we'll have a look under the bonnet. So just this, just this stuff here, um, really common in VE seats, so that's the one of the seats. The back of it's fine, the bolsters are fine. While we're going through here, probably should mention two screw holes in the dash as well. Really just want to be as honest about the car as we can. So they've obviously screwed like a phone holder or something into that. So, in here, we've got the 3.6 litre motor. 
Um, along the front here, we've got the front bar I was telling you about. There was no stone chips or anything um, in there. These are the high output motor in the SV6, like you know. Um, the most powerful P plane legal motor that you can drive. Here we've got the, the bonnet protector as well. We we're talking about now. You'll note the passenger headlight is perfectly clear, like we spoke about as well. But if you come around to the other side, it was just a little bit more cloudy. Anyway, I don't think I would use pitted as the word, um, like you were saying. I think it might be different to something you've seen, but I'll show you so you know for yourself. on this angle but the tyres in the front are almost brand new. Probably just a little bit of scuff in here. Pretty standard with a used car. On the doors, so front doors you've got the weather shields as well, which is great. Down here, uh, this mark down here, so let's get Luke's coming real close. This is the one on the uh, packs on the door I was telling you about. That's yeah being really picky, that's really small. Passenger rear door, another tiny little scratching here. Rear tyres, again, a bit of an awkward car to actually see the condition of the tyres, but they're almost brand new. Or they, they seem like they are brand new. Come around through here, I'll get them straight in the seats, back seats. Um, yeah, no marks or tears. back of it now so we've got the spoiler the sv6 styling you've got the rear diffuser um, it's actually got some sort of exhaust system as well it's super quiet i'll try and give it a rev for you before we stop the video we've got the tow bar set up the tow bar is actually in the boot i did have a look at it just before on the rear bar again i think i just mentioned there was a two centimeter scratch on the on the back here and down the driver's side no marks down here, no pin dents. Um, the rear door here is perfect. I'll show you in here. Uh, the interior trims and stuff are good as well. On the driver's door, um, so there's a couple of smaller marks here and then a little bit of a longer sort of scrape here. And then the driver's interior itself. So all quite good. Like I said, this, so the steering wheel is really common to lift up on the back here with the leather ones. Um, this, so this one's not doing that, which is a good sign as well. I'll get Luke to just pan over the roof as well. So looking for it, obviously hail damage or something like that. There's no dents or anything in the roof. We stand back a little bit. I'll give it a quick rev so you can hear the exhaust. Definitely not loud by any means, but there's definitely something there, it's probably worth mentioning. Um, so yeah, Roger, I hope that gives you a better idea of the condition of our car. And if it looks like it's something of interest, we'll try and work something out for you, and hopefully we can get you something into a new car. Thanks, mate.